Hey guys! So I have another project for you today and this is a nice little Easter gift. Uh, at least I'm going to give it to a few of the ladies at my church and I think they're adorable. So I'm going to start off with the little nail polish and I got this orange color at the Dollar Tree. Not bad. So it's not, you know, too expensive. <laughs> it's just a nice little, you know, thought of you kind of gift. And all I did was, well, actually, I'll just show you because it is pretty easy. So, and then there is also a cute little basket with some grass on the side that the nail polish sits in. So it looks kind of like a basket with a carrot in it. Isn't that adorable? There. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. <laughs> figure the angle out. So what we need to do to start off the basket is we need a tag, which I just fit this to the size of my nail polish. It's probably about double the size of it. Sorry, I, mean, I need to remember to keep <laughs> in focus with all of them, uh, both of the cameras. So, first off, we're going to take this tag, and I did a brown. I'm going to take a brown ink, and I'm going to do a kind of like a plank look. So I'm just going to drag a little bit and then press down and then drag and then press and then just give it a little light once over just to give it a good, good inking, you know, and then I'm going to do it to the next side like that. Oops, that imprint didn't go on too well there. And I'm going to do it on both sides because when we make the basket, you're going to see both sides. So that is how I made the wood grain look on the basket. Next, we're going to take our scoreboard and we're going to score. <laughs> so I'm going to take take the tag and I'm going to put it vertical and I'm going to do let's see three knobs in on both sides and then I'm going to turn it horizontal and I'm going to do three-fourths and then one and three-fourths. That's going to give us enough room to put the nail polish bottle in there. Now my scoreboard's all brown, but it's okay. <laughs> That's the thing that happens when you craft. It just means that your stuff has been well loved. So then you're just going to score each of your folds. Or fold all of your scores. <laughs> and then I'm just going to cut on where your lines meet. Right there. And then right here. So you're going to have your three four strip and then your one and three four strip and then you're going to have your cuts in between there so that this will fold in and this will fold in and then we can just 
go like that and go like this and glue those together I'm gonna use hot glue because I don't feel like waiting for this <laughs> to dry so I'm just gonna put a dot on there and then I'm gonna do on the outside I'm not sure why I just like the look of that but you do whichever you want and then I'm going to do the other side of that piece. And then flip it over. Put a dot on there. Hopefully you can see that real well. And then put another dot right there. Alright, and then I also used, mm, here it is, the Banner Accessories die from CC Designs. I'm not sure if she still has it around. Um, I would check or just use some type of zigzag or a grass die because that's just what I'm doing. I'm making it look like grass and that's what the banner die looks like when it is cut out. I'm not sure if I have the... I'm not sure what I did with the die. Oops. Well, <laughs> hopefully that turns up. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so I'm just going to put a dab of glue uh, running. You can... Oops. Right there. And then put the grass so that it fills that little hole. So it kind of looks like a planter, um, planter basket. So you got some carrots sticking in there, you know. And then do another one on the other side. Get all the glue strings off and your little nail polish bottle should fit in there real nice like that so then to finish off the basket I am going to use some burlap ribbon I debated using some either gingham or just a green see-through and I think those looked good but I liked the contrast of the burlap, the texture, just gave it a really good look. So I'm going to put it in there and then I'm just going to wrap it around my finger, put it through, so just a simple knot really, and then pull. You gotta be a little careful because you don't want your paper to rip while you're doing this. So you gotta be you gotta be tough but gentle. <laughs> tough love. There you go. And then that is the basket. Really simple and easy, huh? I know. Alright, so now to do our carrot bottle. We're going to need the bottle, duh. And then we also need a strip of green paper. And you're going to want to wrap your paper around and then find where you need to cut it so that you have enough to go around. And then what you're going to do is just take your paper and do some slits and then feather them out. And that's going to look like the leaves on your carrot. And I'm actually going to use my tape runner so that it's easy to get off of the bottle when they want to use it. So I'm just going to do a little bit of tape on the... You could even use uh, repositional um, sticky dots, 
glue dots. And then I'm just going to wrap it around and then do some more tape on the, sorry if you could hear that, that was just the laptop updating itself. But just tape some of your, put some of your tape on the green. Make sure it's stuck on there real good. And then I want to flare it back out some more. And then you can stick it in your little basket. And there you go. Oops, let's put the <laughs> little label out there. So you got a little carrot in a basket. I'm trying to, <laughs> still not sure how the angle goes. But, and then it's got some cute little grass there on the edges. And if I felt like it, I could put some flowers some tiny flowers or something of the like like you could use the Dollar Tree flowers or like some roses or like you could do some ribbon around the carrot you could embellish it however you like I mean it's not it's not that bad so that is how I made the cute little baskets and nail polishes. So I hope you like that. And hopefully it's not too late. I know it's like really close to Easter, but you know, late night crafting and you know, being late on holiday stuff. <laughs> but I hope you guys like this. And I hope that you either like or comment, or if you are not subscribed already, Go ahead and hit that button if you want to see more. We do a ton of stuff. Like, a ton. <laughs> Normally, I try to do uh, at least three videos a month. Uh, generally, I do a whole lot more, but sometimes a little more laxed. Depends on what's going on. But, yeah. So, I hope you're having a crazy day. Not too crazy. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I shall see you in the next video.